thank you for coming back into my kitchen. This is Stephanie. Thank you all for joining me all the time. Just love it. I just love you coming back. Thank you so much. I just got home from work and it's a kind of snowy day today. And so I got home a little bit earlier because if not, I wouldn't do this. But I had some chopped meat in the refrigerator and I have to make some dinner. So I got to eat something. So I have some chopped meat. I'm going to make some hamburgers. I already put in my uh, power, uh, um, ex power air fry oven elite. I already made my uh, bacon. So I'm going to make me a hamburger. Um, I got a pound of ground beef in here. And what I'm going to do is put my normal things on, which you do what you want. But I put a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And I put a little onion powder. 99% of the time, I get some onion powder on. I like this stuff, this garlic and herb by um, Spain, Spain Spices. So you got to try this stuff. It's pretty good. Um, I leave a link in uh, on my Amazon so you guys can pick that up if you like. And thank you, Ray Mac, for, for suggesting this because this stuff is really good. And we'll put that on here. And... I'm going to put a little ground thyme on. Sprinkle the ground thyme in there. That's it. Then I'm going to put some uh, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of low sodium Worcestershire sauce on. And you notice I ain't putting no salt. Put a little of that on there. And just a drop of A1. Put that on there too. Just a little bit. And then I get in here with my hands. That's what I do. And I'm going to put it all together. And I mush it together. That's how I season my meat. When I'm making chopped meat most of the time, when I make a hamburger or something like that, that's my stuff that goes on here. So. Move it in. I work it in a little bit. And then I'm going to do, put a little bit more onion powder on here. A little bit more onion powder. Uh, a little bit more of this garlic. Garlic and seasoning. And I think that's it. I'm going to work it in a little bit more. Now the, um, the oven, the power, the air fryer is pretty pretty much um, warm because I just took the, 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 that bacon out. So I think I'm going to get maybe four hamburgers out of this thing. So take it in my hands. And to be honest, this is like the fourth time I'm making hamburgers in this thing. And I love how they come out. They come out nice and juicy. So you don't need to spray anything. You just need to put it on. So that's about two. It may not be exactly the right, same size, but whatever. I'll throw some cheese on these bad boys, and that's what we eat. Because so I go to work tomorrow. So I just figured I'll throw this together real quick, get a video out of it. I had to use this meat, and I'm going to get a video out of it. And we're going to eat. So that's three. And this is the last one. Like I said, this is about a pound. This is a little uh, under a pound. This is a little over a pound, this was. Just a tiny bit over. And if I don't eat this today, I might take it to work with me. Here it goes. That's my meat. I'm going to put it in my air fryer. So, I think I'll put it in maybe 8 to 10 minutes. So, I'll stick it in. I'm not going to put it on the highest rack. But... I am going to put it on 400. My hamburger is all in there. It's on the middle rack. The, the um, air fryer is already hot, but it doesn't have to be. It just happens to be it, that it is. I'm going to put it on 400. I'm going to put it on for maybe 10 minutes. We'll check it, and then it's going to go by itself. I don't have to touch it now. It will start. There you go. I'll see you guys in like 10 minutes when I check it out. So I'm going to put some cheese on these bad boys. And we're going to eat. See you later.
Okay, everybody, it's been on for 10 minutes. I actually turned it over at the five minute mark. So it gets a little brownish more looking. And here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. That's our hamburgers for tonight. Gonna stick them over here. And in between, I actually took another rack Put it on top so I can toast my bun so I don't have to be bothered with um, that oven. So anyway, I have, um, I have cheese already on here and I have already toasted my bun because I put it on the top of that oven um, on the top rack for about three minutes, if that. And I got this done. So we're already done. Now, I'm just going to put some mayo on here. On both of these, on the top, put a little mayo on. There we go. Good old mayo. Got some cheese, got some mayo. And let's see. And I have, I'm gonna put a little ketchup on this side. Catch up, catch up. Okay, and I'm gonna put a tomato over here. One, two tomatoes, and a piece of, and a piece of. <laughs> open that for me. I'm gonna put um, some lettuce on here, and Perry is telling me to put some pickle on there. So we got some pickles. And I'm going to put some pickles on here. Two. Put them right over there. Nice healthy sandwich. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm actually going to put a little more ketchup. On that side. Alright. Now. Very, very good. Now, we're going to take a hamburger, we're going to plop it over here, separate that bread right there, and we're going to take another burger and plop it over here, and then we're going to separate this bread, I'm going to give it a top, there you go, and a top, there we go, and here's our Two hamburgers for me and Perry. One for me, one for Perry. I had to take a picture of this for a good old good good thumbnail. Now, what I what I did forget to put on here actually is what I started with, and that's some bacon. We got to put some bacon on bacon on here. Put one right there, and one right here. Yeah, now we got, now we got a sandwich. Yes, we do. Now we have some dinner. All right, everybody, I'm going to eat my dinner because I got to go to work tomorrow, real work. And uh, this is my hamburger that I made and, and the bacon, of course, that I made in the air fryer, okay? It's a quick thing to do. Try it when you're hungry. You, got nothing, you know, you got to get stuff done. Try it. You'll really love your air fryer, okay? Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.